Alright, a time for a, a Karthus game. Uh, Karthus is an incredibly strong champion to carry solo queue games with because of his ult and just his general scaling potential farm clear speed. I highly recommend it, champion to be picking up. He is a bit tricky, so definitely some time goes into it learning the guy, but yeah, pays off very well. Uh, I will be playing this against a, a cane, which I can only assume in Dark Harvest is going to be a blue cane, which should be okay-ish. Uh, obviously, they removed the Profane Hydro interaction in this patch, and that does mean he has a bit less or a bit more struggle bursting people, which is kind of nice. So, you know, there's that. Uh, Elo of this game, stock an Emerald Elo, so you guys are aware. And yeah, should I play some Karthus? Starting on blue here. Whether I get a leash or not, I will start. I like to start on blue buff most of the time. Because it's just a nice, quick, full clear on Karthus. You don't have to worry about your mana at all, ever. So there is that. I'm actually gonna not smite this one, because that was a decent leash. And my Gromp hasn't spawned yet. Let me just do this. Right. Need to uh, warm up to my Karthus mechanics a, a little bit, it seems. You wanna... The biggest thing for Karthus to remember here, actually, is the like the fact that you should not forget to auto attack. I see like Karthus clears happen. You know they forget to auto attack a lot, and that saves you or that costs you a lot of clear speed. Like actually, auto attacking saves you a tremendous amount of clear speed. If you have blue, you can leave your E on for longer. But if you don't have blue, you basically just have to like really tap it. Otherwise, you're not gonna have enough mana to be able to sustain. With blue buff, obviously, this is not really a factor, and you can just kind of leave it on here for this as well. I can just kind of leave it on, making it much easier. Also, why the blue start is just much nicer in general. But yeah, if you don't have that, then you're going to have to respect uh, your mana bar a bit and just kind of turn your E on, on and off like this and stop using it at a certain point, like right here. Need to wait a little bit, turn it back on, etc. And as you can see, my clear speed is looking good. One smite used, gonna be like a three minute full clear. I'm still a little sluggish, I will have to say, but you know. There we go, three minutes pretty much straight on the dot. Very good stuff. The quickness about Karthus is very good. Obviously, not really anything doable here. I can see if Kane is chilling over here. Perhaps. To have some downtime, there he is. There we go, not bad. Uh, landing your Qs can be a little tricky there, but I obviously had complete top priority, so I wasn't too worried about things. Instantly go for that, take the scuttle and back as fast as possible, because we're going to catch the respawn here quickly. Uh, what you want to do, or what I like to do at least, with Karthus in a situation like that, is I like to throw the Q pretty much on top of myself because of a melee range champion. If they want to hit you back, then, well, they have to step on top of you, right? Or near you at least. So I'll always try to like make the position so that I can have that set up for me. Which is what I did there. And I landed a good amount of them. Let's just put it like that. If he tried to hit me more, he would have gotten hit by more of them. Uh, so he would have died before he even got a chance to kill me. But yeah, that's that's kind of the way I want to look at things. Now here, we're just going to quickly go for the clear once again. And then the void drops pretty much right away. That is impressive. He was like a slither of HP and brought that back somehow. Not bad, Uder. Well done. For me, full clear now, just full on. And then the void drops pretty much on spawn is the plan. Karthus is so fast that I can probably just do procs too, but I feel like if I just go raptors into void grubs and then loop around for the crux, it's gonna be fine. Still have a blue buff, so I can just leave my E on here. I'm not gonna smite anything right now, because I obviously wanna use that for the void grubs go on this. Brand's gonna go mid, that's fine, but I'm just gonna go for this. Just hit it AoE. Like, I'm... Q does more time with single target, but as you can see, if I just it hit it down AoE, it's gonna be very, very quick anyway. Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> I will take the delivery system, thanks guys. <laughs> Not a worry. <laughs> But yeah, you do the Void Grubs very quickly, just trying to pull them on top of each other so your Q hits everything and just burn it down, basically. 
you have blue buff especially, you can just leave it on. No worries at all. Yeah, they kind of forced the Quay up into me, and I like I just wanted the wall for the assist mostly, because uh, if you hit the wall, which is very easy to land, obviously, you just get the assist, which is good. There we go. R is ready to go. We're just going to take a reset here. Going to go Malignance first. Uh, yeah, let's buy this. It's fine. I was considering... I would still buy a Dark Seal, actually. Perfect. Futures market money. Oh, okay. So I was about to ult that, but I really didn't have to. I honestly didn't pay the most attention. This is not going to kill. Ideally, when you start ulting, you do want to have first strike ready to go. So that's something to look at. I... I'm going to use ult. You can kill the Garen with that, most likely. I'm going to do Dragon as well. Perfect. I was going to see if Udyr was actually going to commit to a fight there, because if he didn't commit to the fight, I didn't want to ult, but he was going to commit to the fight because he was going to get cut off, so he was forced to fight, which means ulting is worth it. As long as you make sure you have your first strike ready to go if you're running this. Uh, I put two rune pages at the start. So you can use the other one if you are uncomfortable with first strike, that is fine. Instantly sprint bolt as fast as possible now after killing dragon. And we're just gonna place the wall as fast as I can to get the assist. Didn't get the assist. No, he yoinked my kill. That is a little unfortunate. I got the assist again. I'll take the assist. Like, the assist is all I care about, really. Because I want to have my ultimate hunter stacks. Don't care about the kills there, just the assist. I have 5 kill participation out of 8, which is huge. And I obviously did the dragon near spawn as well, because Kane was top lane. And now my main goal is just going to be going for the full clear once again. And then after that, we're looking very good. Void grabs are going to spawn like 136. Something to look for. Got my 5 ultimate hunter stacks, which is huge. 5 KP out of 8, which is also huge. Looking very strong right now. Finish off Malignans is going to be beautiful here. Don't have built or anything. It's probably just dead. Yeah. This guy is obviously going to back, so there's no point in walking mid lane. Keep clearing. Void grabs in like 50 seconds. It's a little awkward timing wise, but. Beautiful. Builds up in 20. I think I just want to recall here. Because then I have Malignance for the ult as well. Let's go back. Built in 7 seconds. We're going to go back by the Malignance. And that's going to be good. And then I should be able to afford those. Never mind. I have 100 gold off in my math. Unlucky. I'll get a double kill here, I believe. Uh, that's, dude, it's going to be 1 HP. That's a tad bit unfortunate. But I do get good money. Didn't see how much money, but I got some good money. Let's go for uh, for the Void Grubs instantly. Sadly, didn't have enough damage to kill Kai'Sa there. It's a tad bit unfortunate. Oh, didn't get the assist on that either, really? Huh. Bit too late. I actually thought it was still within time frame, but it wasn't. Fair enough. Do this. Group them together. Drag them a little bit back here. So now we could just do this again. And just full-on burst everything at the same time. You could separate your Qs to get them one by one, but just doing this, especially if you have blue buff, you could just spam this and it's super efficient. Okay, now we're quickly going to check his topside camps as well, because he was bot lane for an extended period of time, so everything should be up here. I do have to be somewhat respectful, but not that respectful. I think just blue, actually, because Udyr is backing now. Anything else would be too greedy. We go mid, sweep. This is warded. He has the respect now, so at least Yone gets to clear the wave. Mm, I should respect Kane coming out of base here. Be too greedy. Don't be too greedy. Get my back in here, get my Sorks, and then I'll just go for my respawnable camps again here. Everything will be up again. Another sequence. My ult's gonna be up in 18 seconds for me to use. 
Pops looking ultable. 10 seconds on that. May I'm, I like keep pinging my ult quite a bit, so my team actually is aware of the situation mostly. Uh, it's forced to flash, that's not bad. Really looking at like the minimap and stuff to see ult angles here. Not really looking to like last hit with ult as much. It's more so about like when fights are actually good to engage. That's a good engage, we take that. Should be a kill for me there. Didn't get the assist on the Swain, sadly, but that's okay. That's like an engaged fight right there. Ooh, that's... Okay, that's a bit close. Are you serious? Alright, nice, good flash. We're going moving this way. Beautiful. Cut him off as well. Perfect stuff. Uh, I'm actually gonna run through mid here, I think. Because dragon. Frogs are a bit far out of the way. Don't really want to go for that. Try to throw your Q slightly ahead of the target you're going for. Does it? There's there a plant there? There is. Slow him again. Not bad. Uh, am I gonna die to this? I have to respect blue cane here. I'm going to be very, very respectful right now. And just reset over here. There's the blue cane. Blue cane is fast. Goes over 30 walls. I'd rather back. I have 10 stack Magi, so insta-buying that. Yeah, that's exactly why I didn't want him to fight. That's a big, big, big shutdown going to Kai'Sa, sadly. If Brand can go for this, that would be amazing. Come Drake, please. Builds up as soon. It should just be a quick dragon rotation for my team right now. They're not doing dragon, excuse me? We can just do it then, no? Do this, get some vision. Ah, but I just hate this game. Why is this brand rotating all the way around, man? Just hit the dragon, please. I'm gonna ult here because there's still a fight gonna go on. That's fine. I mean, we win the fight, I lose the dragon. I mostly in that situation just don't understand why brand is running around instead of just like hitting the dragon because we could have killed that thing super quickly. But I missed my smite, obviously. I lost the smite battle, so that's like on me in that regard. Can't say too much about it. It's just a little strange. It's all good. Still, though, fight is won, even though I did die for a bounty, I think. Was that worth a bounty? I don't see a shutdown. Oh, huh, interesting. Um, still, not bad. Losing the dragon, obviously not ideal. Missing the smite is completely my bad. I didn't time it well. Like, I didn't time my Q angle on that correctly at all. So, yeah, mistakes have been made. But the fight has still been won for the most part, I think. Still have plenty of damage, at least. Right, we have a full clear to do. I don't particularly care too much about the Rift Herald. I'd rather get my camps right now. Because the Rift Herald like, doesn't hold that much value to me. It's also pretty damn risky to do at the moment. Like This guy's going to have to be very, very careful on top side here. He's low HP. Like Their bot lane is uh, mid. So they have more pressure towards the top side anyway. But it needs to be respected as well. For me, no, right now, I just want to make sure I hit level 11. That's going to be a big one. Get the extra ult rank in there for 25 seconds. That's a bit aggressive. Sadly, don't have ult yet. Yep, yep, yep. Going, going. Instantly moving. Why are you running that way, my guy? You're joking, right? I would like to get some Agile stacks out of these deals. That's a free Kaisa. I'll take that. Goodbye. <laughs> we take those. Let's do this.
I don't know what the hell's going on here. Like, what is this guy doing? Now, I mean, I'm talking about my Yone, by the way, not the not the Kane. I understand what Kane's doing, but my Yone is just like <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> uh, I just have no idea. Whatever, I'm gonna back. Let's get the Shadow Flame here. Very squishy enemy team, so we're just gonna go for as much burst damage as possible, basically. Uh, you can go like Malignant and Leandris if you're gonna face more tanky stuff, but these people are not tanky at all, so I'm not gonna go for for Leandris. That'd be a waste. I mean, I understand it still gives you the increased damage, yes, but uh, like just this burst damage with like Magi Shadow Flame is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Be one shotting the team pretty much, but that is good. 14 gold, can't be missing that. 19 seconds on ult. Pretty sure they have that kill already. It's gonna do Rift Herald after this. Ooh, it's in nine seconds on ult, sadly. Let's do this for a bit of vision. I've got the ult, I got the ult, it's fine, he's dead. Goodbye. Take this. Oh, I got the Garen too, beautiful stuff. Absolutely perfect. Let's get the blue and then we'll get this into the dragon. Yeah, the power of Karthus ult, what can I say? Such a low ult cooldown now too. I have a blue buff so I could just kind of spam and leave my E on. I think I don't want to smite this because I actually don't have a second smite since I just smited the blue buff as well. Instantly reset, get the Shadow Flame, and then we go Bolt. Get a Amp Tome with this for now. I basically want to finish this build with a Zonias and a Death Cap, I think. Because I obviously don't need Void Staff, right? That's absolutely useless. They're not going to stack Magic Resist. And if they do, I guess I could get it eventually. Uh, but Zonias for the defensiveness, so I can't get one shot by a Kane running at me. Because that's still a pretty good strength of Blue Kane to just one shot you like that. And then Death Cap, obviously, for the AP. Kane is going top lane. This should be a free dragon. I could just leave my E on again because I still have blue buff. Just gonna place the wall down there to zone him a bit. I don't like the fact that I'm losing all my mana here because I'm soloing the dragon, but it's, yeah, it's fine, I guess. 12 seconds on my R. Still have a blue for a while, so my mana will restore. I don't think taking a fight is good here because, like, as you can see, half my teammates are just low. Not worth it. It's gonna be a bit risky. They wanna back, obviously, just let them back. Don't force anything too hard. I think going for that scuttle is too greedy as well, because the blue cane is gonna have the movement speed and my team is not in a good position right now. To back me up if I would get caught. So I don't wanna risk my Magi stacks or my shutdown. I'm just gonna clean my camps, be calm about it. Nothing to worry, nothing to rush. He's just dead, no? Yeah, he's just dead. Fair enough. Good, good. And pretty much in the next team fight, I should just like, if I lead with ult, pretty much, like, as, if you get strong enough, just lead a fight with ult. I mean, leading a fight with ult is generally not a bad thing to do, but in the early game, it's really hard to tell when people will actually commit to a fight unless they're like at least a good amount lower, you know, or just to kill for the execute of it. Uh, but like leading with ult is very, very strong. Uh, hitting your wall also procs first strike, by the way. That's just something you want to keep in mind with Karthus. Uh, I, I do not really want to ult anything until I get first strike at the very least. Okay, this is my ult. This is definitely an ult. Triple kill. Uh, normal triple kill. Landed slightly too late. Missed one. But still very good ult. I got first strike out of it as well. I wanted to ult slightly sooner, but I proc my first strike earlier. So I didn't have first strike for that. And I don't want to ult without the first strike. Ideally, like it makes a difference. Makes a big, big difference. Because obviously you get money. But also some extra damage. Like it definitely is something you want to wait for. Something to keep in mind at all times. If you're playing with first strike, that is. If you're playing with Dark Harvest, obviously this doesn't matter. But gonna put it down because I think we can use it to push one of the turrets at least 
I push this, that's all good, that's all I care about. Anything else is just a bonus. If it gets the bounce one more time, I'll, it'd be, be a nice bonus, I guess. He's obviously gonna kind of try to smite it, I think. Not too worried about it. I got, like, a turret out of the Rift Trail. That's the best thing I could really ask for. My ult's gonna be 42 seconds. I wanna converse, or, like, uh, converse. Converge on the uh, Udir here a little bit so Kane can't get him. I think I'm gonna actually sell my ammo god. My ult's not up for a while. I need to like go this way. I will be going that way, yes. I need to walk safe because obviously like as a as a Karthus that uh, will just hurt if I walk through a Garen. It doesn't really matter if he's fed or not. I'm just super squishy. So I do have to respect him there. I think backing and just getting double large world here is going to be what I'm going for. Uh, it doesn't really matter to be like on the map super proactively as Karthus because you do obviously have the factor of... Well... <laughs> Can I... Does that work? I'm actually thinking about it. It could, maybe. Deal damage, reveal them. I feel like this is really... I'm actually going to try it. Instead of going Zonias, I'm going to go super damage heavy. Because obviously with Karthos ult, you're going to hit that 600 range very easily. Does 10% increased damage. It makes a lot of sense to me. I'm not saying this is the, the best option, perhaps. Like, it's just something I'm trying right now. Uh, but something like to follow this up, you could just go death cap. And like Zonias, super good setup. Nothing really wrong with that. But yeah, I'm going to try this here. Oh, that's not good. Hey, he's just insta dead. There's nothing I can do about it. I'd like to play for the dragon if possible. I think that actually kills. I could be wrong, but I think that kills. Yeah, he does. He's dead. <laughs> yep. Money. I know that. Not bad at all. I also think I chunked their entire team pretty heavily as well, so... Should be good. I'm just gonna get the dragon when it spawns, and it should be fine. After this dragon, I'll look for the Baron as well. If he can just auto-attack, that'd be nice. Kane is top lane, so he's just completely chill, not a worry. Good, good. Delts? 475... Okay, so it does work the way I thought it works. That's actually a really good item for Karthus then. Goddamn. Because it works like the increase your ult, that's good. Not bad whatsoever. I just looked at it and I was like, wait a second, that makes sense. And it does make sense. Nice. Obviously, it's a bit aggressive. Uh, probably would be an item I'd consider replacing your Magis with if you're not comfortable with Magis. Because obviously having something like a Zonias uh, is going to be quite effective. <laughs> I, I have a feeling I might get absolutely killed here some at some point. Because I just don't have Zonias. But, you know, screw it. I guess. That's, uh, that's a pretty spicy amount of bot kills right there. My ult's not up for another five seconds though, unfortunately. Am I gonna ult here? Is that, that Garen's not gonna die, is he? Nah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I, I think that that was on the edge for the Garen dying, but I'd rather keep my ult for a fight now. Like an actual proper fight on Baron. Don't be stupid. Not that long of a cooldown, to be fair, but still, it's better to keep at the moment in time. I'm gonna take that, because I don't want to waste the XP. Hitting level 16 is quite important for me right now as well. Ah, come on, die! I'm gonna be forced to ult. This is fine, I think, though. I'll just ult. He's just dead. But I also have an engage potential on bot. Not too bad here. This is the thing I was a bit worried about. Yeah, that's why having Zonias would be quite good, <laughs> to be fair. Yep. I, I got two Qs on the guy. Uh, that's a bit of the downside, I will admit, because obviously with Zonias instead of this item there, I wouldn't have died. But, you know, 
That's uh, that's the risk I took by going for Horizon's focus, I suppose. Ah, the pain of blue cane. What can I say? If you have like a dive assassin like that as Karthus, like it's rough. It's really, really rough. Should position myself a bit smarter around that. It's okay though. I'll probably end up selling my Magi's for the uh, for the Zonias. To be fair, because I'm probably gonna end up dying quite a bit. It's only my second death. It's not too bad, but I do give a thousand gold shutdown away. I want to hit level 16 soon because that's going to add my ult damage even further. And I obviously want to look for the Baron here as well. If they kill Kane here, I'm insta-baroning, by the way. If they don't kill Kane here, I'm going to clear my bolt side camps first. And then move up to Baron. Oh, that's not ideal. That dude's dead, so I don't have to ult, I think. I'm gonna ult, it's fine. I got him, don't worry about it. It's a dead cane. I can Baron off this. Baron now, please, Brand. Can you not... Like, please, Brand. <laughs> like, just don't run bot lane, Brand, I beg. You gotta tank this one, buddy. It's up to you. I'm gonna do way more damage than you, so sh you should tank. Whoever tanks Baron does 50% less damage to Baron, and that just simply cannot be me, because I do, like, triple his damage to Baron right now. So that, yeah. It's just important that it's not me. There we go. Insta burst of the Baron out. I should have waited two seconds before I killed it, so as nil I could have gotten it. I'm actually too quick at doing it. That's on me. I should have definitely given it to my AD carry there. Uh, I've got my death cap, so I'm gonna go purchase that instantly. There's no point in doing anything else. Just play for the Drake. Drake, please. I need to play with my team to make sure I don't get assassinated by Kane. Because my team needs to peel for me since I don't have a Zonias. If I had Zonias, I could just bait the Kane into everything and he ults me and I just Zonias and his ult will do zero damage to me. He just dies after that, which is just all I needed. But yeah. I wonder how much damage I actually do. I kind of want to test it. To be fair. We'll see. Okay, so we're just going to chill on Dragon for a while, it seems. They try to contest. I probably just ult. I do have to careful, be careful that I don't ult when I'm standing next to the Dragon that knocks me back. That would be a big problem. I'm just going to do the Dragon. Okay, now I'm melting. Boom. Oh, look at that damage! Oh, that's that's absolutely... 284 gold! Excuse me, first, first strike. Holy moly. <laughs> I just obliterated their team with that ultimate. Holy moly. Dead. Okay, yeah. That's completely insane. That's a bit bit aggressive, I would say, but sure. All good. Dude, that was so much damage, by the way. 24... No, Horizon's Focus is an amazing item on Karthus. What the heck? That is a large amount of damage. All right. If I'm going Burst Karthus, I think I might actually stick to going Horizon's Focus. It seems very, very good. Obviously, the game's over now, but... There you go. Full build has been reached. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below. Helps me quite a bit. And yeah, yeah. with that being said, I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. All right, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 39.5k damage, which is by far the most here, actually. Quaquim, relatively close, I will say. If I had Leandris, this number would probably be slightly higher because of just, like, burn ticking at being slightly more effective, I guess. But... Because Leandris adds quite a large amount of champion damage to your uh, to your situation. However, you know, they're full squish. I'm not going to go Leandris into full squish. I just burst them out instead. So that's what I opted for. And I nearly one-shot the entire enemy team at that last ult there as well. 40k damage is very good though. Uh, true damage at 1700. Objective damage at 74.8k, which is a ridiculous amount of objective damage as well. Uh, healing done, 16.6. And damage taken at 28.3. Self-mitigated at another 12k, not too much, obviously. 
Uh, gold earned at 16.5, which is the most. Very good. For the runes, first strike dealt 1300 damage and gave me 1000 gold. Like, this is a very nice amount, right? This would skyrocket, by the way. Like, from this point forward, my like every single ult is going to be like 300 gold, as you saw at the end there, apparently. So, you know, that's very good value. Uh, you also get slightly more uh, first strike value. And with slightly more, I mean, actually a good amount more first strike value, like money and damage wise. If you run Leandris, because the burn applied from Leandris is actually going to add into it. Obviously, didn't have Leandris in this game because I'm going for a burst build and they were squishy. Uh, but if you're playing this against tanks, like with first strike as Karthus against tanks and you go Malignant's Leandris, as a combination of items, the first strike will do more damage and will give you more gold. The snowball like that. Um, so that is something to think about because there is just more damage going into the window of first strike with it due to the extra burn damage added. Uh, but obviously for burst that is slightly reduced. Still, you know, an extra 1000 gold is huge uh, to have just in general, just for free. Not bad at all. Magical food, or not have to buy boots, can just rush into the malignants. A futures market for two extra purchases. Approach velocity for 50 haste. I really like approach velocity the most on Garthus out of everything here. I think it's the best thing to take because it works really well with your wall and allows you to chase better. So you place your wall down and you can get better distance on your queues and stuff like that. So that's really, really good. Also, uh, if you are running Rhylice into like certain melee heavy comps where you can run it into, then approach velocity is also amazing for that situation. But it's uh, mostly for your wall and being able to chase that makes it easier. Uh, ultimate hunter for obviously the ult cooldown and an eyeball collection just for the extra ap and that is it i hope you guys have enjoyed this one if you did make sure to like button below upload daily i upload daily so be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another one bye